Welcome to the episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. What I have in front of you is what I consider, in my opinion now, the best brake barrels on the market that is in current production. The RWS Model 34 or the Diana Model 34. Wyrock HW95 or the Beeman R9. Both brands have the, are from same manufacturer, just different names associated with them. One is Beeman, one is a Wyrock or RWS and Diana. Doesn't matter which caliber you get. Whether there's a 177 or 22 in the RWS or Diana or the Beeman or Wyrock in the 177, 20 and 22 caliber. Mine is the RWS here, chamber 177 with a Vortec kit. And my Wyrock HW95 and 22 caliber also with a Vortec kit. I did say in current production. I have others that are in my collection that are not in in production anymore. But these two right here are still in production. And as far as I'm concerned, for under 500 for the HW95, the Wyrock HW95, or 300 or under 300 for the RWS slash Diana money well spent sure there are other uh, brake barrels on the market but these two are what I consider heirloom quality Now, I did put in a, a different stock on my uh, HW95 here. It's got a Beeman R9 stock. Because when I originally purchased the HW95, it didn't have the stippling on the forearm, but it was rather on the pistol grip and it was uh, right-handed, a right-handed shooter. Beeman was smart enough to at least make their stocks ambidextrous. Now on the RWS 34, there is no stippling. This is just a bare bones beach stock. And it didn't even have a rubber butt pad it's a plastic one, so I replaced this one with a rubber one, vented. Triggers are fantastic on either one of these. The T06 for the, the Diana RWS or the record trigger on the Beeman or Lyrock. Both are two-stage adjustable. I did videos on both these guns. So if you need more information about it, you can uh, go to my channel and check out some of the past videos I've done on both these guns. But I figured I'd go ahead and 
bring these two guns up since I still like shooting my spring guns or under levers and these are two of my favorites the Diana or RWS is considered a Magnum Springer whether it's in 177 or 22 So it does have a lot, a lot more power. Got a longer barrel. So let me uh, read some specs about the RWS. It's got a limited lifetime warranty on the RWS or the Diana. I already said it's got two stage adjustable trigger. It did come with iron sights. Both these guns came with iron sights, but since I was scoping them, I took the iron sights off on both these guns. Both are sporting 11 millimeter dovetail. They're spring piston, single shot. Just a uh, workhorse of uh, spring guns. They're very fun to shoot. Overall length on the RWS is 45 inches. Barrel length. 19 inches So if you just want to buy a one-time Spring gun break barrel And if uh, Under uh, you know if $500 and under is too much for you, then go for this one here. But this is under $300. And it's a very, very accurate gun. RWS and Diana. The barrels are made in house. doesn't have all the, the stippling like the Y-Rock or, or the rubber butt pad but hey this is the gun that you can take out hunting squirrel season is coming up and uh, bag your squirrels. Safety on, on this one is right up here. As soon as you, you uh, cock the gun, in this case, break the barrel open, it's an automatic safety. Same with this one here, but this one's on the side, side lever. Next is Lyrock. You can buy these currently at $449 through Airguns of Arizona. Overall length is 42 inches, 42.32 inches. The weight without a scope is 7.5. Barrel length is 16.1. Like I 
I said, both guns are very accurate. If you want a break barrel that will last you a long time, heirloom quality, you can't go wrong with either one of these two here. The Wyrock or Beeman or the RWS Diana. You folks stay safe, shoot straight, may probably hit his target. We'll see you in the next episode of Air Guns and Pestage Channel. See ya.